hello everyone so today we are going to look into how to make the environment a dark environment darker the atmosphere and how to increase the cloud density and how to make the clouds uh, a bit darkened so that it's like it's going to rain so we actually working towards implementing a dynamic raining system that the weather is dynamically changing from a sunny environment to a darker environment so in this episode we are going to look into how to look into what are the things that we need to implement material this uh, volumetric cloud material and how to achieve this effect and find the right values so that then later on we can dynamically change them and implement the dynamic raining system so here we have already we are going to implement a couple of things and find out a couple of values we could use so mainly we have one we are going to add one additional parameter into the volumetric cloud system to increase the density so if i undo those values this is how it's going to look like and we are going to back in the normal sunny weather mm -hmm. find fire and here this color Oh, sorry this is not what we need to change we need to change this really scattering I had the okay this blow we need so now we are back to the sunny weather so yeah these are the things we are going to work on today all right so as the next step of the open world series i want to touch the topics with uh, dynamic weather that basically means raining at this point later on i will look into the seasons as well but first we are going to work on raining so to make it rain first i need to figure out how to make the sky darker and the uh, overall lightness of the environment darker and increase the cloud density and make the cloud black so those are the things we are going to work on today how to make the atmosphere more dark okay so let's first look into clouds how to increase the cloud density um for that here we have this volumetric cloud actor and we do have few parameters but unfortunately i don't see anything that i can use to control the cloud density so uh, let's take a look at this material so let's see first where it is located it's in the engine content engine content engine sky volumetric clouds so right so this is as you can see this is a material instance and here also well before change anything i think it would be better if we create a copy of this in our project so this is the simple volume volumetric cloud material instance and this is the parent material so i will select them both and move to sorry not move copy to materials folder so we can modify this without worrying about it i will not end up modifying the engine files all right so now 
let me create a new folder atmosphere and move this to side that okay first so still the parent material is in the engine folder so i'll select this one and assign as the parent material since it's the same material uh, anything will not be changed here and for the volumetric cloud i'll assign this local material instance here now we can try changing the parameters we got right so let's see what do we have here beer powder what is that no well it does increase a bit of the density but it's just like expanding on what do we have here it's not essentially increasing the amount of clouds and beer powder power oh that's that makes the clouds look hot okay that's also not it so anyway we don't really see anything that hints the increasing of the density we can change the color here but not exactly the density so we also need to change the color as well but first let's see how to increase get some increased density so since we can't do anything here let's take a look at the main material logic conservative density this looks promising but what do we have here it's just the color and emission it's zero okay all right so conservative density it's coming from this texture okay i guess this defines like the shape of clouds perhaps Uh, maybe clouds are based on that texture not exactly the shape because we have some scaling and some other stuff going on here as well uh, uh, but anyway since this is a texture and if we can if we can add something to here where yeah, should we do that perhaps after this let's promote this to a variable I'll call it density of set and apply so we have a lot of parameters mm. okay here we got the density offset wait oh compiling okay let's see point one oh nice it already increased the density Make, if I make it one, it's all become something, but what exactly happening? Let's try minus value. Okay, it reduces. So plus values are definitely increasing. Increasing the area of the cloud. So this is good, but 
this on it on would not make it work uh, it work up to some extent but we will still have to uh, make the sky a bit darker as well so What are those lines? Okay. Mm. What if we put this behind uh, before this multiplication? So should come from here. And apply. Compiling shaders, alright. Now let's see. I think that is that's better. We don't see those odd lines now. Yeah, but the amount of cloud is definitely increased. In the zero, it's like this: zero point zero one, like this. Five, okay. Nine point one, point two, point three. Yeah. This is better. We can use this. Okay, so I'll leave the density offset here. What else we can use? What's this power doing? Right, anyway, let's leave that here and oh, one more thing to make it darker, we do have color. If I make it darker, it doesn't change much because. Uh, it it change it does change of course but um, yeah this was i was this is what i was changing but it doesn't get darker the reason is this material is uh, should be an additive yeah so an additive material can't really make a scene darker than what it is because it's only add on top of what already there is so that's the reason so we can make this overall sky color if we can make the overall sky color darker then it should be better so to do that we can check the volumetric cloud the sky sphere let's see this uh, sky atmosphere can we reduce this luminance factor mm -hmm. To, we can definitely use this but that doesn't allow doesn't seem to work how about this really scattering oh, 
this seems good if we make it white and somewhat like ash colored this looks good like a rain weather totally black looks odd but something like here would work yeah and so uh, let me copy this color and cancel it so what's the color we already have yeah i need to copy that because we gonna need it later so at the moment i'm only just testing the values to find out right balance all right again let's make it darker right and this blue on the water doesn't look right when the sky is darker but i think when if i reduce the overall lightness of the environment it should be fine so okay now the overall lightness of the level so we already have the directional light and it's six if i make it three it becomes a bit darker but because of photo exposure the scene becomes lit okay so when it light uh, when it's going to rain we have this exposure compensation over it and i have already set it to 0.5 but by default i think it's one so scene is a bit more lighter than this but anyway when it's going to rain if i make it like minus one this is the light we get and yeah i think it's good for a rainy weather do you think okay so now we do have our values in the next episode let's find out uh, how to dynamically change these values uh, from a light sunny weather to dark weather before it starts raining and then after that let's actually start raining so we need to think about how to make this ground wet foliage wet and we also need to work on add a particle effect a rain particle so yeah let's look into those things in upcoming episodes to implement the dynamic raining system and this is all for today so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode bye bye